22. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Tony Michelle, his first carry. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Michelle, the ball 16 ball. yards right off the bat at a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that yards. run. And let's face it, it first shouldn't down. be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. He'll look to throw to Michelle on the screen. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Complete to Sony Michelle. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Second and three at the 44 yard line. Now Michelle, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And it brings up third down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Patriots send out their punter. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. And that's a nice gain by him on first down, picking up some key yardage. Here 
Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. 16 yards, a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. And they'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Run past the 30 yard line there. With a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A seven yard the success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. On second down, it's Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Hey, here we go. Lots 59. Lots 59. We own it. We own it. And now they'll throw with Allen. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. It's the former Michigan man, Chase Winovich, who gets in there to bring him down. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. This is Jones. And he's got a roll. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And this will be taken to the 13. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll drop the throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
from the shotgun. He'll look to throw. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. It's taken to the 26. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They begin things in much better field position than their opening drive as they come up first and 10. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Kyle Duggar on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 42-yard line. We're scoreless after one. Quarter with no score. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Second down and six now from the 42. Allen. He sets up the screen to Jones. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. stringing that play out and they gave up no cutback angle you know he was trying to dart through no place for him to go a nice job there only giving up a three yard gain three yards on that last carry here's second and seven now Jones and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39 Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. Get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. Three yards on first, four on second, and now five on third down. Move the sticks. And at the 33-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.
from the shotgun to give to Jones. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Singletary, the ball carrier. Kyle Duggar on the tackle. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the Patriots' 16-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. going to set him back five yards. Inside the 10 to the 9. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So first and goal from the 9-yard line. They run here with Singletary. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Brings up second and goal. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Flushed out right. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. try and push the pile boy no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there it'll be a loss of a yard and that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal Tyler Bass out for the Bills field goal from the right hash and this one just a chippy is good and the Bills will take a 3-0 lead so a dozen plays on that drive CD but in the end it yields just the three points well they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time but let's be honest about it 
That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. at the line ready to go they've had it twice they punted twice not the start they were hoping for not at all and let's face it every facility we visit everyone talks about converting on third down how big that is in this situation they've had to punt it away twice so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines what do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Patriots. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And the Patriot first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now back to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. A quick throw complete into the flat out left. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Toss out right, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Eluding the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Third down. Third and long. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll set up to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. It's now fourth. They'll try to field goal now with Graham Gano. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. A 45-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. That's so a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and take it. Bills take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. My 
Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Time here for likely one play, and then these two teams will head to the locker room all even. And you know the play caller's just feeling it right now. Let's go ahead and go for this one, a big shot. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, second half ready to roll. Two field goals, the combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. 27-yard line. come to the line to start their next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. At the 28-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Check 59, Mike. Pass, pass, pass. 59. Mike 59. So the shotgun snapped to Allen. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. A gain there of 21 yards. They'll run on first down. It's Jones, and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Jones. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. On first down, it's Jones. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down. out of here second and 17 from the gun it's Allen he'll drop this underneath for Jones they get 11 back on that one it leads to third down he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive now he gets involved in the passing game I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54, Mike. 
Here's Allen to throw it. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're talking just throw the ball at the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive in the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. at the line ready to go and with the way this offense has played thus far to be frank they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game i would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead they need to take advantage of it and they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter all they have so far the field goal Second and nine now. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poirier. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 43. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second and four at the 36-yard line. Again, it's Jones, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll try and run with their fullback. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. The wall didn't work very well on that play. Defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The 
The Bills on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They only need a yard here. Third down and one after the penalty. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Here's Jones. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Jonathan Jones on the tackle. One-yard gain. Brings up second and nine at the 20-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. The Bills on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Operating from the gun, Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Jones, and for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play that time, but it sets up second and goal. On the play leads to second. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Brings up third and goal. Third down now. And those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. From the gun, Allen being chased. Touchdown, Buffalo! They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Their own 22-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. He came right off the bench. That's his first carry of the game, and he left an indelible mark on the game. 
did not just bring fresh legs off the bench. He brought a fierce mind as well. He had a lot to prove, didn't he? He thinks he's as good as the guy who's the starter. Wanted to prove it, and boy, did he on that play. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. Here's a second and seven. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First down now correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. He'll get this into the hands of Bird. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Demir Bird. His second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots are back within a score. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception. This drive, the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounced back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. The and when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll keep it on the ground. Jones, a gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a first down carry by Jones. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Kyle Duggar on the tackle. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk about it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. He doesn't give many opportunities to carry it, so he's got to maximize. In this case, after dropping it like that, I think his number's going to go way down. What do you think? Yeah, and sometimes those fullbacks, let's just be frank, they usually don't have the hands that the running back does. And it's hard for them because they do so much blocking that a lot of times their hands actually get beat up in the process, and it's hard for them to hold on to the football. 
And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And this one now not quite over yet. Still two timeouts remaining defensively. And boy, having that third timeout would have really helped here. Yeah, another example of why coaches really stress saving your timeouts for when you absolutely have to have them. They go over this all the time. Here's one of those situations. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. No gain on the play. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. And four. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. This will be fielded at the 17. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or... And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Two yards on the pickup. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 